have a situation. I never meant for it to get like this, but here we are. My craft room is becoming increasingly full of gorgeous, colorful, squishy yarns, but I'm finding it harder and harder to carve out room for my ever increasing stash. So I've been on a mission to find fantastic stash busting projects that will help me to reduce my collection. Hi, I'm Elise from the blog LePetitSaintCrochet.com and maybe you find yourself in a similar situation and you're looking at your stash thinking, we got to do something about this. First of all, yarn stash sizes are relative. You may find my stash obscenely large and totally out of control. But some of you may be laughing and think that mine can barely even be called a collection, let alone a stash. And there are definite benefits to having a larger yarn stash. The first is always being able to start a new project because you've already got the materials on hand. And number two is having a skein or 10 on hand that you can give to a new crocheter. But you may find yourself in a similar situation in which you need to reduce your yarn stash. And one of the things that I could do would be to donate some of this yarn to charity. I could swap yarn with a crafty friend. I could sell my yarn online or in a local crochet or knitting group. And number four is reducing the yarn that I already have by using it up on new projects and not buying any more yarn for an extended amount of time. And what's great is that I have found 15 amazing stash busting projects that's going to help me to reduce the amount of yarn I have in my craft room. And they're patterns like dishcloths, notions pouches, bookmarks, chapstick holders, and everything in between. And in addition to these 15 patterns, I did want to let you know that I have several free patterns on my website as well. I recently had my website completely redone. So if you've ever been to it before, it looks totally different. And I think and I hope that it's easier to navigate navigate and to find what you're looking for. I'll leave a link to my completely revamped website in the description box below because I have a lot of free resources and free patterns for crocheters and knitters. The first free stash busting pattern is by Handy Little Me and it's her crochet dishcloth set. There are three different designs and I really love the colors that she chose with those light grays and the mustard yellow. And I really love that she used different stitches for each one of the dishcloths, which makes it more fun to make. These would make wonderful gifts or if you're like me, I probably could use some new dishcloths. The next pattern is the Fingerless Granny Square Mitts by Lullaby Lodge. Now I am a professed Granny Square lover. I love anything Granny Square, Granny Stripe, and these are so gorgeous. I love that she used the variegated yarn with the off-white color. I would make my mitts exactly like this. The next pattern is the Crochet Scrappy Dots Pot Holder. Did I say that right? <laughs> by Rafa Musa Designs. And I thought this one was so fun because I always like to have things that are a little bit whimsical and fun in my kitchen. Although, what am I talking about? I really don't have anything whimsical or fun in my kitchen at all. But now that I'm looking at this pattern, I feel like that I really need something like this in my kitchen. Something fun and pretty. And what I love about this pattern is that you could really bust into your scrap yarns and use up any colors that you have. Or if you wanted it to be a little more matchy, matchy with your kitchen or maybe you're going to make one for your mother-in-law or your best friend. It'd be fun to kind of match what they already have. But I thought this one was so fun and so colorful and I need this one in my life. The next pattern is the Crochet Bobble Clutch by Cypress and Wool and oh my goodness how gorgeous is this one. I love all of the texture with this beautiful little clutch. You could use this as a notions pouch or a little clutch that goes inside your purse. It's just so pretty. I love the that it looks a little bit like a honeycomb. It's just so pretty. I would use this all the time. The next pattern is the Easy Crochet Face Scrubby Plus Mesh Bag Pattern. This one is by the designer Zami Goose. And I thought this one was so much fun. I'm actually really looking forward to making some little face scrubbies because I need to scrub my face every day. And I love that this one comes with a little mesh bag because you could make it like into a little gift. And I'm going to try to get my act together this year and maybe make a few things like this for Christmas coming up in how many months? Like 10 months from now. I love that these are eco-friendly, they're reusable, and they're just so pretty. And in the pattern, she recommends that you use a non-mercerized cotton for this pattern. And she goes on to explain that with mercerized cotton, there's actually a chemical process that makes it shiny. So you really don't want that on your face because it actually makes the yarn a little bit rougher than non-mercerized cotton yarns. I don't know about you, but I love scrunchies and it probably has something to 
do with the fact that I was a kid and a teenager in the 80s and scrunchies were all the rage. And this pattern from Daisy Cottage Designs is so cute. I love how she made these. I love the colors she chose. And I think that they just look really great, whether you're gonna wear them in your hair or if you want to wear them like a little bracelet set. The next pattern is probably my favorite in the entire collection. And that's the Little Tea Bag Bookmarks by The Cozy Chipmunk. I mean, come on, how adorable are these? As someone who loves to drink tea and to make amigurumi toys, I thought this one was so incredibly adorable. I love their little faces. I love how this looks. I'm definitely going to make these because I thought this one was so much fun and it's a great stash busting project as well. The next pattern is perfect for someone like me who is a total chapstick fanatic. This little pencil chapstick holder and keychain is by Jen Hayes Creations and I love everything that Jen designs. She has such a whimsical fun design style and I just love it and these are too cute I love pencils but I love my chapstick even more and I'm always losing it so having a little case attached to my keys would be perfect the next pattern is the crochet rainbow purse by a crafty concept this one is so sweet and it's so cute and i love that little boho vibe what's great is that she actually has a full video tutorial as well but you'll also get the full written instructions plus all of the progress photos on her blog the next pattern is the remote holder crochet pattern from joe to the world i don't know what's wrong with our family but we're always losing the remote control and we have to pull up all the couch cushions to look around for it, but this would solve our problems. We could put it right there at the couch and I think this would be amazing. This would be one of the most useful projects that I'm sharing today. And I think that my family would be so appreciative if we just always knew where the remote control was. With this free pattern collection, I've tried not to duplicate any specific item, but I did make an exception for this one. This is the Bobble Notions bag designed by Eclair Makery. And how could I not not include this one. How beautiful is this little pouch? I love this one so much. And it is different than the previous one that I shared from Cypress and Wool. This one does not have a little button clasp. It actually has a little zipper. And I looked through the pattern and saw that she shows exactly how to add the zipper, which made me extremely excited because I don't know about you, but a long time ago, I took a few sewing classes and zippers were really a struggle for me. So to see that we can add this without a sewing machine was like, ah, I was so excited. And I think this one is so pretty. I love these colors and I would use something like this every single day. I love having little notions, pouches, little pouches and bags that you can put little things in. I think they're so much fun. And this one is just too cute with all the baubles. I, I, I just love it. The next pattern is from Yarnspirations. It's the Crochet Pot Holder Diner Trio. Like I said before, I need a little more fun in my kitchen and I thought these little pot holders looked so cute. The first one is like a little cherry pie. The second one is a cup of hot coffee. And the third is a little piece of toast with an egg on it. These would be so much fun to keep in your own kitchen or to make for a friend, but only a really great friend who would appreciate how adorable and cute these are. And I love that they have the little loop on the top so that you could hang them in your kitchen and display them and they're just so cute. The next pattern is the Crochet Boho Rainbow designed by The Stitch Foundry. And what I thought was really sweet about this pattern is that it was designed in support of healthcare workers. And I think that it would just bring a smile to anyone's face. I love the bright colors, whether you hang it in your window or on your wall, or maybe you just lay it on a table. It's so pretty and cheerful. And it's a great stash buster. The next stash busting pattern is the Harbor Crochet Hand Towel designed by Stitching Together. I love the size of these hand towels and I also love the colors that she chose because I know that I have that in my stash. You could use these in your kitchen, you could use these in your bathroom, and they would make fantastic gifts. And what's great about these is that they are worked with only half double crochets but the only difference is where the stitch is worked. And she explains it all in the pattern, but I think that's really interesting because they definitely don't look like just plain old half double crochets. For this yarn, she uses 100% cotton and I love that it has so much texture. The last pattern is a set of three different crocheted jar covers designed by Five Little Monsters. What I love about this pattern is that it calls for a worsted weight yarn. It is beginner friendly and it's also a way for us 
us to recycle some of those glass jars that we have around the house and just make them look pretty and cute and store pencils or notions or anything else in them. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you found a few stash busting projects that you can add to your list of things that you want to make. And also you'll find links to everything in the description box below. I hope you all stay safe out there and happy stitching.